Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 3, understanding quadrilaterals, exercise 3.1, sixth sum on words. See now question number 6. Find the angle measure x in the following figures. Observe the given figure. This figure is having four sides, hence it is a quadrilateral. So sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Here they have given three angles that is 50 degrees, 130 degrees and 120 degrees and fourth angle is X. Now we have to find this X as sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 we shall add all the four angles that is 50 degrees plus 130 degrees plus 120 degrees plus X that equals to 360 degrees that implies 130 plus 120 that is 250, 250 plus 50 that is 300. So 300 degrees plus x that equals to 360 degrees. Now we have to find x value. So x equal to 360 degrees. Here plus 300 on transposing it is minus 300. So 360 degrees minus 300 that is 60 degrees. Therefore we got here x value as 60 degrees. See now sixth question B sum. Here the given figure is having four sides. Hence it is a quadrilateral. Here the angles are 70 degrees, 60 degrees, x and one of the angle is right angle that is 90 degrees. We know some of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Now we shall add all the four angles. That is right angle means 90 degrees plus 70 degrees plus 60 degrees plus x that equals to 360. 70 plus 60, 130. 130 plus 90 that is 220 degrees plus x that equals to 360. That implies x equal to 360 degrees plus 220 on transposing it is minus 220 degrees. Therefore x equal to 360 minus 220 that is 140. Therefore x equal to 140 degrees. See now sixth question C sum. The given figure is having five sides, hence it is a pentagon. Sum of the angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. Here the bottom the two angles are linear pair. Sum of the angles of a linear pair is 180 degrees. Now let us find this angle 180 degrees minus 70 degrees that is 110 degrees. So the angle is here. 110 degrees. Next, the other angle is 60 degrees. So, we are going to subtract this 60 degrees from the linear pair 180 degrees minus 60 that is 120 degrees. So, we got here this angle 120. See now, sum of the angles of a pentagon is equal to 540 degrees. Now, we got here the other two angles that is 110 and 120 degrees. Now, we have to add all those five angles. So 30 degrees plus 110 degrees plus 120 degrees plus x plus x that equals to 540. 30 plus 110 that is 140. 140 plus 120 that is 260 degrees plus x plus x that is 2x that equals to 540. That implies 2x equal to 540 plus 260 on transposing it is minus 260. That implies 2x equal to 540 minus 260. That is 280. That implies x equal to 280 by here 2 is going to multiply on transposing it is divided by. So x equal to 280 by 2. 2 table 140 times 280. So x equal to 140. Therefore the other two angles are 140 and 140. See now sixth question D sum. The given figure is having 5 sides. Hence, it is a regular pentagon. Thus, its all angles are equal. Sum of the angles of a pentagon is equal to 540 degrees. We shall add all the 5 angles. That is, 5 times x we have added. That equals to 540. So, it is 5x that equals to 540. Now, we have to find x value. x equal to 540 by 5. Here, 5 is going to multiply. On transposing, it is divided by 5 table 108 times 540. Therefore, x equal to 108. Therefore, each angle of this pentagon is 108 degrees. 
See now question number 7. Find x plus y plus z. Observe the given figure. They have given here angle 90 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is unknown and exterior angles they are given as x, y and z. As the given figure is a triangle, sum of all angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now let us find the one side of the triangle that is 180 minus add the other two angles that is 90 plus 30 that equals to 180 minus 90 plus 30 that is 120. So 180 minus 120 that is 60 degrees. Therefore the third side of triangle or one of the side of the triangle is here. 60 degrees. Now in our question they ask us to find x, y and z. So x plus 90 it is a linear pair. x plus 90 equals to 180 degrees. That implies x equal to 180 plus 90 on transposing it is minus 90. So 180 minus 90 that is 90 degrees. Therefore x value we got 90 degrees. Next step. Y plus 60 degrees, these both form a linear pair. So that equals to 180 degrees. That implies Y equals to 180 degrees plus 60 on transposing it is minus 60. So 180 minus 60 that is 120 degrees. Therefore Y value is 120 degrees. Next step, Z and 30 form a linear pair. So Z plus 30 degrees equal to 180 degrees. That implies Z equals to 180 degrees. Plus 30 on transposing it is minus 30. So 180 minus 30 that is 150 degrees. Therefore z equals to 150 degrees. Now question they ask us to find x plus y plus z. That equals to x value 90 degrees plus y value 120 degrees plus z value 150 degrees. That equals to on adding all these three values we get 360 degrees. Therefore, x plus y plus z equals to 360 degrees. See now, 7th question B sum. Find x plus y plus z plus w. Observe the given figure. It has 4 sides. So, it is a quadrilateral. So, sum of all angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. See here in this figure, they have given 3 angles. We have to find the one of the side of the quadrilateral. So, that equals to all four angles is 360 degrees. We know only three angles. We have to find the other angle. So one side of the quadrilateral is 360 degrees minus 60 plus 80 plus 120 degrees. That equals to 360 degrees minus 60 plus 120 plus 80. See here 120 plus 80, 200, 200 plus 60, 260. So 360 minus 260 that is 100 degrees. Therefore, the fourth angle or the one of the side of the quadrilateral is here 100 degrees. Now we have to find x, y, z and w. x plus 120 degrees it is a linear pair. Sum of the angles of a linear pair is 180 degrees. So x plus 120 is 180 degrees. That implies x equal to 180 minus 120. Here plus 120 on transposing it is minus 120. So 180 minus 120 that is 60 degrees. Therefore x equals to 60 degrees. See next y plus 80 it is a linear pair. So y plus 80 equal to 180 degrees. Now we have to find y. So y equals to 180 minus 80 plus 80 on transposing it is minus 80. So y equals to 180 minus 80 that is 100 degrees. Therefore y value is 100 degrees. See now z. Z plus 60 it is also forming a linear pair. So Z plus 60 equals to 180 degrees. Now Z value equals to 180 minus 60 plus 60 on transposing it is minus 60. So 180 minus 60 it is 120 therefore Z equals to 120 degrees. See next W plus 100 degrees it also forms a linear pair. So W plus 100 degrees that is 180 degrees. That implies W equals to 180 minus 100. Here plus 100 on transposing it is minus 100. So 180 minus 100 it is 80 degrees. Therefore W value is 80 degrees. Here in our equation they ask us to find X plus Y plus Z plus W that equals to X value 60 degrees, Y value 100 degrees plus Z value 120 degrees plus W value 80 degrees. 120 plus 80 200. 200 plus 100, 300, 
Therefore, x plus y plus z plus w is equal to 360 degrees. Today we have seen class 8 chapter 3 exercise 3.1 6th sum and 7th sum. By this we have completed our exercise 3.1. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.